Several of Veronica's ancestors were killed by German soldiers at the beginning of the 20th century. Like most of the residents of this township in northern Namibia, she is part of the Herero tribe. It's a group that almost disappeared when 80% of its members were killed in a genocide organized by German colonizers in 1904. The Germans gave my grandmother hardship. She grew up among foreign people. She was forced to speak a foreign language. And we are living in poverty because of what they did to us at the time. Now we want them to restore our dignity. Reparations must come, and we want our land back. This small plaque is the only reminder of Herero suffering in the heart of a cemetery for fallen German soldiers. After a century, negotiations are finally underway between the German and Namibian governments over an official apology and reparations. But the talks are pointless in the eyes of most Herero people and their Nama counterparts, another rebel tribe decimated by the colonizers. I don't expect anything from this negotiation because they are suspect from day one. The way they are crafted says that every Namibian is affected. It is denying the fact that the Namas and Hereros were affected. So these negotiations are flawed from the beginning to the end. Traditional chiefs of the two tribes are seeking three-way negotiations, like those staged between Israel, Germany and Jewish leaders following the Holocaust. They don't trust the Namibian government, made up of the majority Ovambo people, to negotiate on their behalf. The Hereros and Namas are not the majority in our government, and of course they would want to see uh, uh, the government really, you know, taking that into account, and that is already being taken care of. But the two minority groups feel discriminated against. They say the government remains insensitive to the suffering of their ancestors, allowing a beachside campsite at an area that was once a concentration camp. <laughs> 